Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beanie Biker. I am the Autistic Rider. As you can see, beautiful weather today. Um, this is a, a day after the Maybank holiday, the first one, not the second one. And as you can see today, 21 degrees Celsius here in Jersey. How nice is that? 21 degrees. Absolutely gorgeous today. So those are my jobs today to do is uh, bank first and then maybe pop to um, Mantles and look at getting a new uh, podlock see what see what they cost down there as what happened on Friday my Samsung 21 Ultra had an update on the Thursday night uh, basically a, a full update and then it flickered and then I got the black screen of death shortly after so took that into shore on the Saturday and you'll kick yourself with this it was one week out of warranty one week which just really wound me up so yeah it was one week out of warranty um, I took it in I explained the situation the, uh, the salesman said there's nothing they could do it's out of warranty I said well we'll see about that first of all he said you can send it back to Samsung but if it's damaged you basically you pay for it I said well no that's uh, that's wrong you can see it's had no damage there's no scratches there's no nothing on this phone it's kept in good condition at all times it's never been dropped it's never been in the wet so we went to the phone doctor he quoted about 200 quid for a new screen I was like nah I'm going back to shore I'm going to sort this out my wife didn't want to she doesn't like confrontation but you know when I know my rights are being uh, stampeded on I'm uh, I'm a dog with a bone I won't let go so I went down there and, and basically said I want to speak to the manager I, uh, I spouted off all the consumer laws and uh, legalities of the fact that I bought the phone from them regardless whether it's a two-year warranty and it's out of warranty by a week I said you have liability for selling me the phone um, I explained that the uh, it's software or hardware that is basically corrupted from that update that they put out it has no damage to the phone and I said uh, it's under contract for another year with you guys so at the end of the day the liability lands with you so they accepted that um, they sent the phone away they offered me a a loan phone so they offered me a loan phone uh, it was pretty poor um, but I was going to take that until the guy that I originally spoke with me said he could, uh, well he upsailed basically he said you have um, you have 352 quid left on the Samsung to pay off if you pay it off you can upgrade so that's what I did um, I paid it off, uh, they've set the phone to be fixed and I now have the Samsung 23 Ultra so it's basically two phones above it but the thing is now I have no uh, quad lock adapter for that phone or anything so at the moment it's sitting in my uh, pocket inside my Krieger case so um, that's going to be something I've got to go look at today and we're going to have a gander and see if I can get um, see if I can get something for it at the moment Can I pop into the bank and see if we can get this sorted out? Yeah. So. Okay, I've been in the bank. Eww, my bank account does not look good. In fact, it looks rather shocking. Um, take into account that I had to get a new phone. 
Um, I've had other stuff come out. But yeah, it's, uh, it does not look good on my bank account. I'm in credit, I'm just I'm never that low in credit. I mean, I banked, we banked 500 in joint savings this month. I wanted to bank a thousand, but just didn't have the money. This is uh, saving for when we, <laughs> excuse me. This is for when we're uh, eventually moving to the UK. So, So of course, trying to save as much money as I can. Oh, bloody hell. That's it. There we go. Yeah, so... Trying to save all the money we possibly can at the moment. So, that's, uh, that's the main thing. Yeah, so plan of action is to uh, try and put away as much money as we possibly can each month. Um, so we have a nice nest egg to take to the UK with us. As uh, what I want to do as soon as we get over there, get jobs. That shouldn't be too difficult with our, our professions. And then um, obviously you've got to be in those jobs for six months before we can get a mortgage. plan is to take about 80k over with us with that much money we should easily be able to afford a house over there no problem with a deposit of 80 grand so we have our plan of action unfortunately what I can't do today can't go spend more money because I just don't have it okay I got about I have a credit of 900 and something quid but that's me being quite picky with money uh, you know I don't like to be under a thousand pounds in my bank account at any time just in case something happens uh, for example uh, we had those floods back in, um, when did we have those floods? January, so yeah, it was about January, the 13th of January, we had those floods. And then of course, all the money I'd saved up, which was about 3,000. Um, yeah, that had to get spent uh, doing the, the flooring and the bedrooms and the garage and uh, yeah it just wasn't nice we had a bit of a payout from insurance but it wasn't much um, I mean when I carpeted that house because over here uh, all Andean properties you go in there's nothing in there uh, so basically all the carpets spent about three and a half grand on uh, brand new carpets and underlay and everything in there my well, downstairs was absolutely ruined so that money had to come out um, at the moment I'm just on a saving spree because um, I'm a proper Jersey man I got deep pockets but short arms and I don't like touching my money if I can help it so but yeah um, it's annoying I mean I've had I've had everything else come out my rent and uh, all my other bills and stuff but I really do hate being that low in credit I've got a £500 overdraft but again I don't like taking money that's not mine I just don't like it so so as soon as that they owe me a £200 deposit on my wife's phone on the iPhone 
whatever it was, I can't remember what she had now. Um, but yeah, I'll get the £200 back from that. That's to go straight back into my account. And then as soon as I get the Samsung back, the 21 Ultra, I'm going to sell it. I was going to give it to my daughter, but no, she's going to have to stick with the Samsung 8 or whatever that she's been given. I need to, I need to make some money back. So I'm going to sell that phone. So today, I'm just going to go for a little ride around. I mean, those clouds look very ominous there. They look like rain clouds. My jacket's waterproof, my trousers are not. And they're tuck-ins as well. They go inside the boot, so if it rains, I'm going to get wet feet. And of course, my boots are waterproof, so they're going to retain water. I was going to go for breakfast this morning, but... Ugh. That's how stingy I am with money. I just don't even want to go and spend like four pounds on breakfast. Uh, as my wife says, it's one thing after another with me. Last month my laptop broke. I had to get a new bloody laptop. Uh, do I go for breakfast? Do I, do I, do I, do I? I'm going to go to bed now. That was uh, GSD. Uh, oh, I can't remember his handle now, but he's on YouTube. Got slightly more followers than me, about 5,000, I think. So, what a stupid place to cross the road. Look at that fog up there, man. Oh, heavy fog will come in up there. I can't even see the top of the cliffs up here on that area. So might even go up to one more point for the fact it's smothering fog. Probably why he's gone to the east of the island. Less fog that way. It's always pretty much clear down that end of the island, but up this end of the island we always seem to get a fog bank, um, which is why we have flights and stuff delayed and cancelled because they stuck the airport up on the cliff up that way so used to be a nice cafe up near the one more point it's uh closed now unfortunately i would have stopped there to get a, a bacon body so i'm not gonna stop here everyone seems to think the kiosk is good i think their food is fucking atrocious plus their rolls are never fresh i mean if you want fresh rolls you go to um, go down Albert Pier, down to the uh, the food place down there. They have absolutely fresh Portuguese rolls every day, fresh baguettes for the steaks and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous food down there, and it's not expensive either. But here, I don't get it. I don't get why there's so many people come to the kiosk because the food's not that nice. So we went from 21 degrees Celsius down to 14. Wow, hell of a drop in temperature since that fog bank rolled in. I mean, you see it over there. Yeah, look at that, just covering the headland up there in the cliff. It's going to be quite nippy up there, I reckon. But we'll see. See if I need to close my uh, flaps. Hey, the old flaps. I spent quite a lot this month. Oh, 124 quid on my glasses. Yeah, I leaned over. Yes. What a beautiful turn in that is. Here we go. Temperature's dropped. Oh yeah, I can feel that. Into the fog we go. Take that off, cruise. We'll see what it drops down to. I reckon if you go over, I move 12, maybe 11 degrees. No point waving at me, mate. Jeez, what is it with people pulling out on me today? That's the third one that pulled out on me. Literally have to bloody be on your guard around this island because people have got no common sense. You know, they're, they're coming out of junctions on the left trying to go onto the road to the right and instead of like gradually pulling out like you're supposed to, they just shoot out and it's like, what the hell are you doing? 
I'm trying to bloody cause an accident. You see, they used to have a nice cafe here. Just in there. Just in there, they had a nice cafe and it's disappeared. We used to pop in there. They did a nice burger and everything. There we go. Look at this fog up here. See it just blowing across here. It's dropped another degree. We're at 13. I reckon we go to 12 or 11. I reckon it's going to drop that cold. Oh, that's some heavy fog out there today. Not too bad closer into shore, but anything past those things, man. I wonder if Condor's going to decide to uh, crash it again in this. So these are the old um, the battles, battle marks from World War II. The old German bunkers all up here. This whole cliff face is a bunker. You see them everywhere up here. Yeah, see I knew it was coming down here. I'm not sitting behind that bloody bus. These are the cliff paths, you can follow this cliff path all the way around the coast. All the bunkers here as well. There's the bunkers all the way down here, and of course they go all the way up there as well. So there's just bunkers all along this cliff face around this corner. Because they can see all the way to the, the north, to the northwest, or south, yeah, southwest. So they can see all the way to the southwest and the southeast and the south. So the Germans had a full view of the entire bay that stretched along Jersey from that point there. And of course, if you go on to the north coast, again, you've got bunkers all up there and little forts and stuff that the Germans used. Basically to keep an eye on um, shipping, like going between France and Jersey. So you've got like the Paternosters up on the north coast. Um, that's basically... Yeah, there's there's not much distance between Jersey and France from the north coast. You can see it very, very clearly up that way. So any shipping um, that was going past there would have been seen. Uh, don't pull out on me. Fucking hell. I'm just fucking oblivious today. They really are. I've got fucking snow in their eyes or something. Snow blindness.